Hey guys, welcome back to some more Cricket Captain 2016 and part 6 of our Durham County Cricket Club mini series. And today we have the County Championship match against Warwickshire. So this is a big one, fourth against fifth. And if you weren't here for the last episode, we beat. Um, who did we beat? Uh, Lancashire by 143 uh, runs. Uh, some brilliant performances across the board. And yeah, very, very happy. So, um, it yeah, it went down on the last ball as well, I believe. So, it was pretty interesting. Let's have a look at the team for today, and then we're going to go with an unchanged lineup, in fact, um, because Wood's still injured. Uh, Stokes is on um, international duty, um, and Amla's still on uh, international duty. Um, Somebody in the comments keeps asking us to sign somebody, uh, Baba Azam or something. It's too late now, <laughs> you know. Um, sorry, I didn't sign him. Maybe I should have signed him. I don't know, but um, yeah, it's too late now. That's all I can say. Um, but yeah, this is the team that we're going to go for. So here we go. Uh, heads is the call. And ooh, we've got the choice here. Let's have a look at this. Uh, it looks like a good batting surface. So we're going to bat first. Get a bit of an initi initiative in the match. And hopefully do something good. So here we go. Um, Mark Stoneman, obviously the man in form. We've got Hassan Azad, who didn't have the greatest game the first time. And that must have been... Oh, it didn't carry. Well, he's very lucky. Is he going to be lucky this time? Perhaps... He's struggling. He is struggling and he's gone for three. So he's had a terrible start to his Durham career. Um, and these two aren't exactly doing brilliantly, are they? Let's just increase the aggression slightly. Oh, Keaton Jennings gone for 16. 47 for two here. Not a good start. <sighs> Patel to Borthwick. Oh, he's gone for 12 as well. So 68 for three. And now at lunch, uh, we're 70 for three, so not the greatest start in the world. Boyd Rankin in to um, Paul Conwood, who needs to score himself, the captain. You know, he hasn't done brilliantly this season so far, but for something good. Mark Stoneman, another 50, by the way, which is very good to see. That could be out, though. It is. He's gone for 64. Graham Clark comes to the crease now. He's had a, a couple of good matches to start off his Durham career. Oh, Clark on for 12 though, and now Usman Arshad comes here. Uh, Tainville day one, then 172 for five. We've recovered it somewhat, but um, you know we're still not out of the woods just yet. Colin Wood gets his. 50, which is good to see. I said he needed a score. He's got himself a score. Can he go and make it bigger now? Um, Arshad's gone. We're going to bring Pointer in as an aggressive batsman, but he's gone already. He's out for eight. And now Jamie Harrison comes to the crease. We're going to tell Collingwood to keep strike. Oh, that could be out though. It is. Collingwood gone for 64, and now uh, Warwickshire take the new ball. We may as well just attack. Uh, and see what we can do. Uh, it's certainly going to be difficult. Rushworth gone for 24. He had a, a decent innings there, but yeah. It's not good enough all around today. Um, but if we can recover and, and get 270, that would be brilliant. Well, 268 it is. Onion's gone for 14. Uh, Harrison finished on 19, so not the best start, 268 all out, that's not what we wanted, but hopefully we can put in a good bowling performance here and continue the winning streak, obviously we've won twice in a row now, uh, which is good, end of day one then, um, obviously they're still well behind, um, and now Harrison into Westwood, that's a good delivery, is Westwood gone? Yes he is, Harrison gets the first wicket, and now Ian Bell comes to the crease, Harrison to Ian Bell. That's a good delivery. I don't think it's quite going to be out, though. Unlucky. Harrison to chop right now. That's a good delivery. Not quite, though. Harrison to Ian Bell. High in the air. Oof, it's four. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Now, Graham Onions and um, 
Oh, Shad. Oh, Shad Bell gets him for 15. That's a big wicket. Ian Bell gone for 15. Now then, Scott Borthwick. Lots of calls in the comments to play. Scott Borthwick. Bowl him a bit more. And that's possibly why he's got... Um, what's his name? Varun Chopra. He's gone for 38. And now Warwickshire, 65 for 3. Now Borthwick to Sam Hain. A bit of a hero of the road to world number one but he's gone for 12 so very good stuff from uh, Borthwick uh, and now Arshad to Ambrose Tim Ambrose he's gone for a duck well caught by Colin Wood this is good bowling from these two so the the part-time bowlers of the team now uh, Jamie Harrison to Clark and again Ooh, that could be out that could be out is it gonna slip past the off stump apparently it is uh, Rushworth hasn't had uh, that much of a chance yet but here he is to Evans and he's gone for 30 that's a terrific delivery and yeah God be happy with this so far good bowling and Harrison gets his second wicket is it possibly third no second wicket and now Warwickshire 135 for seven this has been a good recovery Uh, Graham Onions will bring in and Scott Borthwick Onions to Patel he's gone for one it's not Samit Patel I thought it might have been Samit Patel but it wasn't he plays for Northamptonshire I think Borthwick and he gets his third wicket Arshad with the catch whoever that was has gone for 34 Bark has gone for 34 and now Warwickshire 167 for 9 we still lead by over 100 which is unbelievable if you think about it uh, now Rushworth coming in to Hannon Dalby and I thought that was going to be the end we're going to bring Arshad on Rushworth to Hannon Dalby he's gone for 13 and Warwickshire bowled out all out for 195 that's a terrific ball and performs Scott Borthwick 3 for 34 I think it was Joe Wise in the comments a very wise choice um, in asking us to bowl Scott Borthwick and yeah first innings lead of 73 now we need to go and you know take advantage of that do something good in this innings um, and Dolby to Azad um, yeah I, I am gonna give Azad a little bit of a chance I know I was a bit cutthroat in the road to world number one with players but you know at test level there's a lot of pressure um, oh the light is too bad apparently so 20 minutes have been lost and the end of day 2 has come about so 75 without loss we are we lead by 148 going into day 3 we need to be quite aggressive I think um, and that's what we're going to be ranking a stoneman oh I thought that was out I thought that was out it wasn't <clears throat> And that's 50 for Mark Stoneman, 50 for Hassan Azad, that's perhaps his first 50 for us, and the new signing. Uh, as far as I know, that other 50 came from um, when he was at another team, so yeah, not too much to be read into that other 50. But uh, yeah, not too bad here. That could be out though. I could be out. It's not. Is that into the 80s now? Oh, what a shame. Is that gone for 82? But he's just about saved his place for a good while now. Oh, Stoneman gone for 69. Unlucky. We are going to just be aggressive now because we want to win this match. We're gonna we're gonna try and win every single game. I know it might, you know, not work out some games. Um, other games we might do very well, but. If we don't try and win the games, uh, I don't see much point. Uh, we are 201 for three at lunch on day three. We lead by 274, so we're, we're pushing along nicely. But unfortunately, Jennings has gone straight after lunch. And we're now going to have to rebuild just a little bit. And we don't want to give them too much time to get sort of 300 runs. Collingwood gone for 22. I am starting to worry a little bit. Um, 
How could Arshad do? Graham Clark's playing well. Warwickshire take the new ball. So we're 356 runs ahead at the moment. Um, I mean, they're, they're probably not likely to to get um, 400 runs in a day, are they? So, you know, Graham, Graham Clark's gone for 50. I mean, do we, do we just, I mean, this is session two, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll play it till just after T. That's point <laughs> one, I think. He's gone for 11. Now Jamie Harrison comes to the crease. He's gone for two. Now Rushworth. High in the air. Oh, but it's four. And that's T. Oh, this is a difficult decision. I mean, are they realistically going to get 400 runs after being bowled out for less than 200 in the first innings? I reckon not. Let's declare. Let's just go for it. Come on. Come on, Durham. Let's get a couple of wickets tonight and mean that there's a little bit less work to do tomorrow. Uh, in the final day. That's what we want right now. So, Rushworth and Harrison, the men, to try and get those first couple of wickets. Rushworth to Westwood. That's a good delivery. Unlucky. Now Harrison to Chopra. High in the air and caught. Graham Onions gets the catch and Chopra's gone for 17 and Warwickshire 39 for 1. Rushworth to Westwood now. Not quite anything there. We need to get these two out fairly quickly. Uh, we're going to bring Scott Borthwick on with Graham Onions. Borthwick, that's high in the air and it's caught by Onions. Uh, that's Westwood gone for 30 and now Warwickshire 60 for 2. We could do with another wicket just before the end of play today and that would make us very happy indeed. So we're going to bring Arshad on to try and get that wicket. Borthwick to Sam Hain. Come on, uh, Scott Borthwick. Oh. Last over of the day. Scott Borthwick to Ian Bell. Get from there. And that's the end of day three. 101 for two. They need 287 runs today. That's certainly an achievable feat. Um, we can just move Jamie Harrison to bowling like this. Harrison to Bell. That's high in the air, it's going to be four though. Now Rushworth to Hain, we need to get these two out. Hain's gone for 35. Ian Bell's the problem man at the moment. Rushworth to Bell, that's, oh, that's going to be six, surely. Or is it going to, uh, looks like it was four. Ian Bell's a problem. Rushworth to Evans. Caught and bowled, he's gone for three. This is still on, 151 for four at the moment. Um. We're going to bring on Graham Onions and Arshad. Onions to Ambrose. Oh, what a catch by Stoneman. He's gone for three. Ian Bell's still the problem, man. Arshad to Clark. He's gone for one. But the thing is, Ian Bell can be a problem all he likes. All we have to do is get rid of all his partners. And Ian Bell's gone for 69. Graham Onions with the breakthrough. 164 for seven now. And, well, we've just gone favourites. We have just gone favourites. Arshad now to Patel. Unlucky. Lunch interval day four. We're going to continue with Onions and Arshad just after lunch, but nothing quite happening there. We're going to bring Borthwick back on. Borthwick to Barker now. Oof. Unlucky now. Rushworth to Patel. He's gone for 33. Rushworth with his third wicket. Can he get his fourth to Boy Drankin? Oof, close. Now Borthwick to Boy Drankin. Got him! He's gone for a duck. And now Dolby comes to the crease. Come on, Scott Borthwick, get your second wicket. Oh, nope. Rushworth now to Barker. Oof, I thought that was out. That's got to be out, though. 
this is the last wicket. Chris, Chris Rushworth, very well done, sir. He's gone for 23, and Warwickshire, 223, all out. And yeah, got to be happy with that. We win by 164 runs, dominate the game, really. Uh, we batted fairly well. I mean, first innings could have been a bit better. Second innings, we were good, though. Uh, and bowling wise we were terrific Rushworth and Borthwick in particular Stoneman gets man of the match for his 250s um, deservedly so probably so we're up to second now 82 points from 5 games 3 wins, uh, 1 draw and a loss and Hampshire are the, the leaders at the moment but we are closing in on them uh, which is very good indeed so who are we playing next Nottinghamshire so that'll be um Oh, so is that Hashem Amla available to play? That's going to be interesting. Who who does he come in for? Let us know down in the comments and we'll see in the next episode whether you were right. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like down below if you did. You don't have to, of course, but me love for me and for the channel. Make sure you subscribe if you are new because we're closing in on 800 subscribers and it would mean the world to me if we could hit that by the end of March. So... Please share it around if you know people that would be interested. And obviously check out my other content on the channel as well. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.